I've studied. I study this craft like I have my master's degree. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kina. I am the O Experience. Welcome back to my channel, which is geared towards everything relationships, dating, and loving yourself always. The title of this video, Dating a Married Man 101, The Game Plan. Before we get into the information, I do want you to like this video. Please smash your subscribe buttons. And then of course, I do want you to comment down below. You guys ready? All right, let's go. So first of all, I wanna thank all of my returning watchers, my O experiencers, my day ones. Y'all, the channel is growing so well. It's tremendous the amount of support i've been getting from everybody the comments whether good or bad the likes just the views everything has been growing and it's because of you so i definitely wanted to take some time out to say i appreciate you please continue to like please continue to comment please continue to share the content because it helps me grow the channel even more so i just wanted to stop and say i appreciate you getting into the T. When you date a married man, when you date a man that has been in a long-term relationship, you should have an end strategy. I say this in my videos, all of them. I say, when I recorded Tips to Dating a Married Man, when I recorded Side Chick Etiquette, when I recorded those videos, I tell you, you should have a plan for what this is right so you should have a plan for what this is and your plan should not be to end up with him permanently and if you thought that was gonna be part of the game plan in this video it is not you might as well cut the video off and go back to doing what you were doing because I would never give you advice on taking someone else's husband this is this lady's husband, he married her for thick and thin, ups and downs, for rich or poor, or whatever the vows is. I don't really know, I don't care. He has children with her, he has built a life with her. I would never tell you to take him from her. Matter of fact, that should be nothing even on your radar. We don't want him, you don't want him. He's a cheater, a duh. So, I'm never going to give you any advice on how to steal a married man away from his wife. You shouldn't even want him. Moving on, what I am going to give you advice on is what you should be doing when dating a married man. There are only three scenarios that go with this situation, and we're going to discuss all three and you are going to pick one of the scenarios and you are going to nod and agree that these are the only three scenarios that you're going to use when dating a married man and that is it the first scenario now small disclaimer if you are a child under the age of 18 please exit this video please exit stage left please go watch whatever kids watch these days, but you can't watch this. Bye. Now, now that the kids are asleep, if you want to have casual sex with him, go for it. Strategy, game plan, end game number one. You met this married man, you don't want any strings attached. You're like, he easy on the eye, he works out, and I get to keep my life and I get to have sex with him whenever I feel like it. Because what you need to know when dating a married man is you have nothing but time. Where are you going? Back home? You have nothing but time. So you want to date him and you want to sleep with him because you don't want anything more with him. Then that should be strategy number one. That is strategy number one. You just want something casual. 
you don't want anything out of it and you're not going to look for anything else from this relationship and it's going to be on your terms did you hear me on your terms not when he wants to hook up not every time he's feeling freaky not every time he wants to call you up and it's the middle of the night and his wife somewhere off of her friends and now he got some free time it's on your terms so that's scenario number one scenario number two hooking up with him and occasionally getting a gift here and there. Yeah. You vetted him. You know that he lives in a middle class neighborhood and he has small children and you know he basically can do what he can do for you when he can do it. Not all the time, but when he got a bonus check or it's the end of the year and it's Christmas and he decided to get you something. So he decided to spend a couple hundred on you. Maybe get you those YSL pumps you've been looking at and he's been putting a little money away for you because he likes you. He thinks you're cute. You know, y'all have sex from time to time and now it's time to give you a gift and it's a good gift. But it's not all the time. It's just a one-off gave you the gift and you appreciate it and then you gave him something back and he's back to taking you to normal dinner dates and you know having sex whenever he feels like it or whenever you feel like it that's scenario number two scenario number three <laughs> this is what you should be aspiring to this is me I've graduated to this level. I've done the dinner days and I've done the one-off. You got me a little purse, you have some shoes. Okay, that's cute. Now I've graduated. I know exactly what I'm looking for. I go into a bar, I'm scanning. I know that your suit is tailored by the buttons, by the custom work. I know that you decided that you have a money clip instead of a wallet. I saw what you got out of, out of valet. You have on a watch that doesn't have diamonds, but it's a classic. <laughs> I like you. You have old, long money. And because I have mastered the art of conversation, I know exactly what you do every day and I know that you don't have small kids your kids are grown and they're out of the house that's my age bracket so you're not only going to spoil me but you're going to play by the rules because you've been married to your wife 15 20 years you know she's not going anywhere she knows she's not going away anywhere she's not threatened at all she's very secure which makes you very secure which makes me very secure so now my eye is on the prize my eye is to oh you want to take me on this lavish dinner date because you know what i can go with you in public i can go to the fancy restaurants because your wife is somewhere in the suburbs put up in her house where all she do is garden all day or do whatever she do. Or she probably got a young boyfriend too. Somewhere tucked away. That she play with from time to time. But yeah. I'm out. We having a good time. You didn't send me and my friends on vacation. You didn't pay my car note up for the month. You didn't pay my rent for the month. You give me a good allowance. It's stupendous. Yeah. It's real. And I know that the money is not going to stop. It just keeps coming and coming and coming. And I'm not talking about no little cash apps or whatever y'all be getting. Venmo payments, $50 for your nails, $100 for this, $100. I'm talking about thousands. 
thousands a week. That's scenario number three. Those are the only things that you should be looking for when you're dating a married man, when you're entertaining a married man. You know why? Because it should be business for you. Because it's business for him. Trust me, you think I'm on here and I'm callous and I'm hard and I'm... No, I just tell the truth. It's business for them. Do you think he's going to fall in love with you? No. He may. But no, he's not going to leave for you. You're not going to change his mind about his wife. He's going to always have an excuse why he stays. So it's business for him. He's, the, he's in the business of getting into your pants. He's in the business of showing you off to his friends. He's in the business of flaunting you around so other men can want what he has for the moment. But oh, baby, it's business for him. So it should be business for you. So what you should do is you should keep your eye on the prize. Remember, you're never, ever going to fall in love because this is business. You should be in and you should be out. If the getting is good, stay in as long as you like. If he starts to catch feelings, you know how to manage your feelings because you have an end game. You have a strategy in place. You know exactly what this is. You're getting in and you're getting out. But you know what you have time to do? You have time to vet the situation. Because again, where is he going? Huh? Let him. He'll be back. But you need to be doing some work. And you're like, Kina, how do I know if I'm going to just get a casual date or I'm going to just... Or I'm going to stay stick around a little while. I might get some shoes out of it. Da, 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 da. This is all a process. You have to graduate to the level that I am. I've graduated. Trust me. I've, I've gotten some does. I've gotten some. I'm like, dang, I thought he got some money. Now I know what I'm looking for. But I've studied. I study this craft like I have my master's degree because that's how much money I make. I make money like I have a master's degree, but I have a master's degree in men. I have a master's degree in studying men, studying the art of conversation, and knowing exactly what to say, what buttons to push, where the emotional triggers are, what I need to say in order to get what I want because it's business with me. And a lot of y'all are on here looking at me like, dang. But it is, it's a business. I don't fall in love with my target. <laughs> Why would I fall in love with my target? Then I get caught up in my emotions. Then I do dumb stuff like y'all been doing. Running around after this married man, doing whatever he say, chasing behind him, trying to win him from his wife. I dare not get in I assess I can assess a man in about an hour or less I assess and then I'm in and out you know what you can call me <laughs> probably among other things y'all call me on this video but you know what you can call me I'm a modern day Robin Hood for all the women you know how Robin Hood used to steal from the rich and give to the poor? I basically do that. But I do it in a relationship style. Meaning, for all the wives out there whose husbands are cheating and they meet me, they'll never see me coming. They will never know what hit them. I will get in. I will use the art of conversation. I will get everything I want. I will leave them wanting more and then I'll disappear. So you know when he comes home from work and he's mad or he's had a long day and you don't know why and he doesn't want to discuss it and this day has turned into a couple days and now it's been a week and you 
What is wrong with you? What happened? And he don't want to tell you? Me. <laughs> I'm done with him. It was business for me. He started to catch too many feelings. He started to get in his feelings and he started thinking he was going to tell me what to do. No. Them gifts slowed up and he got on my nerves. I sent him right on back to you. So he's mad about me. But I'll tell you this. When he's done with me, not really. When I'm done with him, he'll appreciate you a lot more. Because he'll be like, dang, I got somebody genuine. Somebody that truly loves me for me. And she would never, ever do what Kena did. And he'll probably act better as a husband. So, all of you married women, you should probably be thanking me. He's probably appreciating you more because of me. So, yeah. Those are the only three scenarios you need. Remember, casual sex when you want it. Casual sex with an occasional gift. Small, but pricey gift. But maybe once a year, twice a year. Or you've hit the jackpot and now you are a kept woman. And you still get to have your life because he still knows the rules. They know the rules more than anybody. The older ones, the ones that have had multiple women over the years and they make me I'll be the last one they gonna ever have. Cause I'm, yeah, I'm digging in pockets. And then I'm sending you on your way. Thank you, it's been fun. I appreciate you. But the real ones know the game as well. I've learned the game from them. So until next time, you guys remember to have an end strategy when you date a married man or you'll fall prey to the foolery that they bring. Remember to leave your comments below. Please like this video and please share it. And until next time, I am the O Experience. You guys be safe. I love you.